when that laughter begins, it's an indication that there's been a turnaround in my life. Oh God. Somebody better come on and focus with me, baby. Come on. Up, 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 up. Nah. Cause we're riding on the heights. You cannot see this thing from ground level. You cannot see this thing from the parking lot of the A&P and the Publix. You cannot see this thing from a place of lower land and doubt and unbelief, but we're coming up. Welcome to another episode of the Superhero Supernatural Flow. You have entered into the Fortress of Solitude, where you'll find anything but the norm. But we are not from the norm. We are superheroes dropped from another planet. Join me as we go to this clip. If you look at the Bible, when you look in the Hebrew Greek, the word says my word and you go and look at it, it says command. And a lot of times we like to play with the word and just say, oh, that sounds so cute. That sounds so very wonderful. But God is saying something for us to follow. So we had to go back. You're being carried as the as the holy spirit gives you utterance and so as you're going forward you have to go back and look also so we just want to do a little bit review when the lord turned our fortunes back to us when he turned the captivity psalms 126 and 1 when he turned the captivity we were like ones that dreamed and our mouths were filled with laughter and we went into that scripture and it began to show you that when we go into this holy life, and we're not doing it, it's all the Holy Spirit. It's all signs and wonders from the Holy Spirit. When that laughter begins, it's an indication that there's been a turnaround in my life. Oh God, somebody better come on and focus with me, baby. Come on, up, 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 up. Nah. Cause we're riding on the heights. You cannot see this thing from ground level. You cannot see this thing from the parking lot of the A&P and the Publix. You cannot see this thing from a place of lower land and doubt and unbelief, but we're coming up, we are ascending, amen? And we're moving from glory to glory, from faith to faith. And God is giving us an elevated view. And how, how do I know that? And how is he keeping us? How is things, I'm not saying that we got it all to, listen, we, my God, my God, my God. Jesus said, he said to the father, he said, father, when he was about to ascend, he said, Lord, keep them, keep them because I, it's not that they're not going to see trouble. He says, it's not that they will not see any kind of trouble in this earth, but that you will be what with them. And so when I say fire in the last two weeks, you better believe fire. Just because we don't get up here and be like, did you know this happened? And did you know that happened? No, because we are riding on the heights with him. And unless the Lord is using that as a deliverance and a, a, an, um, an encouragement for someone else, I don't need to sit up here and tell you about my sad story. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. I don't need to sit up here and tell you all the stuff that went forth and happened. Why? Because we are riding on the heights. Come on up. Come on up. Those who want to come up with us, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Amen. Because I will look to the hills from which cometh my help. My help comes from who? The Lord. And so we are in an elevated level. Ain't y'all ever been on a plane? I know all of y'all, most, most of y'all have been on an aeroplane. And if you're anything like me, you like the window seat. Because your sister want to see everything. I, 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 your sister want to see everything. Amen. And when you begin to come down that runway, it becomes real because the, you start to feel the vibration of the airplane and you're, you're taxiing down the runway and you're picking up speed. And then when you begin to take off, you feel like your insides have shifted. Oh God, how many of y'all know there's a shift that has already happened? And you begin to feel your shift going on on the inside. And you begin to ascend and you get to a certain amount of how many hundred or whatever thousand feet. And all of a sudden, 
you know, the, the when they take you up there, they want to get you above the clouds. They want to get you to a certain elevation. Why? Because if you're too low, there's something that will happen that's called turbulence. There's something that will happen when you're in the cabin and all of a sudden you start jerking and all of a sudden there's a rumbling and all of a sudden you don't feel no peace. You don't feel the peace that passes all understanding. Ah, oh my God, beverages are flying everywhere. The, the women that, are, you know, the stewardesses that came out to serve you, now they got to go back because there's turbulence. But when we get to a certain height, You ain't got nothing but peace. And you look down and you see the clouds. On a cloudy day, you're going to see the clouds. But what I wanted to get to was that when you look down, now you're, everything is, begins to be placed in perspective. You look at it and the thing that bothered you yesterday, you saying, I said, look at that little peanut looking, what is that? Is that an ant? And it's, you know, and you're looking and you say, my God, is that the thing that bothered me? Is that the thing that had me all up in a, in a whirlwind? Is that the thing that had my head going all over the place? That little thing, God, is that it? That's the thing? And God said, mm-hmm. And I was trying to tell you, but see, I needed your, your elevation and your view to change because you began looking at things in a parallel instead of looking from where you are already seated. The scripture says we are already seated in heavenly places with him so if you're getting all inundated with the the hustle and the bustle of the day and this happened and that happened that tells me that you're not conscious about where you are and you're letting the world tell you that you are a surface dweller you're letting the world tell you that you're in the lower lands but really you're a king and a queen and you are meant to be seated in heavenly places and so the lord began to tell us that we need to come up amen and laughter is a way to decompress to come forth to be able to handle the depths of where he is taking us somebody say i'm not sitting still i am moving somebody say i am not going backwards i am not going to be in the same place this time next year but God is about to take me into another place. God is about to take me to another land. But we're able to handle the depths of where he's taken us on this new foundation. Understand that it's not new to him, it's new to us because we have been fed a lie from the programming of the status quo church and the programming of the legalistic church and the programming of the babylonian and the egyptian mindset of the world but god says i'm cleaning that slate clean all i need you to do is come to me with a clean slate you don't have to be very well learned or educated to get this you don't have to be well learned to get it you just have to what die already paul says i die daily i put my body under amen not to the what you feel you need to put your body under to but what god is calling to your recollection amen it's not about what you know it's about how willing you are to die to what you know then real wisdom walks into the room. Oh, my, 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 my. First Corinthians 2. And so it was with me, brothers and sisters, when I came to you, I did not come with eloquence or human wisdom. As I proclaimed to you the testimony about God, for I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus and him crucified. So God will allow innocence of childlike qualities to come forth to be able to handle the depth of where he has taken us and i began to say a little bit about we don't talk about the fire we living in y'all but we living in fire there's fire every day <clears throat> if you are following christ then there's fire some way or another but just because we don't get up and say, oh, this is what I went through. This is what happened to me and all of that. We, listen, 
The only thing that's going to make a difference is what you say for Christ. So unless that thing is being used to deliver somebody, being used to help somebody down this road, we we riding on the heights. I talked a little bit about the airplane. Did you hear that part about the elevation? And we, we're above the turbulence. We have to be above the turbulence and the noise, <laughs> the noise. My God, I talked a little bit about the noise a couple of weeks ago. I said, back in the day, we used to have these radios with the big knob. All of y'all youngsters, <laughs> you gonna know what I'm talking about, but I still love you. You ain't gonna know what I'm talking about, but to get to the stations, we had to turn the knob. But guess what was in between each station? Static and noise. And so if you're hearing static and noise, baby, what did he say to you before you started turning that knob? And keep turning until you get to that station because I'm telling you, you are gonna get the work. Listen, he pours water on a thirsty ground. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness for they shall be what? Filled, amen? And so I want to talk a little bit about the depths. We're talking about depths, depths, right? We're talking about how deep, how, you know, how deep can we go? How high can we go? God says we move from glory to glory, from faith to faith. Amen. We don't sit still. We don't sit still. And if you think you're sitting still and you got it and you fine and all of that, you're actually diminishing. When God sent Jonah to Nineveh, Jonah booked the passage to Tarshish. And there was a time in my life I started going through that. And I was like, God, you know, this is a lot. You know, you got to be careful when you start saying I'm overwhelmed. This is I'm good. And this is a lot. You got to be careful because my mouth almost got me in trouble. My mouth almost messed me up. And I said, I said, you know what, God, I, I you know, I, we sit here, we in the word every day. I'm good. I'm good. I'm just going to sit here. I'm not, I'm not going to go back, but I'm not going forward. I'm just sitting. God got me in that word real quick. And he started showing me the Hebrew Greek for that word Tarshish, because that's where Jonah began to head to. He booked passage on a boat, jumped on the boat and started going on to Tarshish. But how many of y'all know y'all can't run from it? Because if you run from it, people around you going, no, stuff just ain't going to be right with the universe. <laughs> and folk going, you smell that? How many of y'all been in a room and sometimes somebody what's that smell they're gonna smell something funky they're gonna smell something off they're gonna smell something going on because something is wrong something's wrong somewhere that, you see that you smell that and people gonna start picking up because you ain't where you're supposed to be and god began to show me tarshish and when i looked in the hebrew greek that word said to diminish to diminish so that word means to actually diminish. The Lord began to deal with me. He said, Kay, you're not standing still. It feels like you're standing still and you got it all. But if you're not continuing with the Lord, you're actually diminishing. There's no, there's no such thing as standing still. God gives you, he proposes to you. He gives you a thing. He says a thing to you. It's either yes or no. It's yes, Lord. I, I, I'm seeing that. Yes, Lord. Or if I don't, Lord, show me, show me something in your word. And you go on with the Lord. You submit to the Lord and you go on with the Lord. Amen. You're going forward in your word. You're going forward with God. So there's no such thing as standing still. Either you're moving on with him or you actually go heading to Tarshish or diminish that word. Look it up in the heap. Diminish is that what that word means. We talked about getting deep. We're like ones who's like deep sea divers. The deeper we go, the more he lightens our load with laughter, like a decompression. He's decompressing us in this deep dive. We're going through a holy decompression called holy laughter. Laughter is an indication that God has restored and turned it around. We talked about that. We talked about the fact that he has turned it around. 
Y'all better get ready. Y'all better get ready. Y'all better get ready for your bank accounts to uh, start blowing up. You better get ready for the houses. You better get ready for the cars. You better get ready for the blessing. Get ready for the healing. What would you do if you was healed? You're telling me that you're still in that wheelchair. And you're telling me that different things are still going on. But what would you do if you was healed? Go ahead and do that. Find the scriptures of the Lord and go ahead and do what you would do. If God says that he's, you know, moving you and you're going to that house, go buy you a box and, and, and pack your first box. In faith. Go pack your first box. Do something in faith. Amen. Because God is saying he has turned it. So whatever your it is, he's turned it. Remember, it's when we are willing to step out, possibly fall, possibly fail, but still getting up, still dusting off, still letting go, and still moving on, that we truly find our rites of passage through these doors of success. This has been another recording right here at the Fortress of Solitude, where the superhero meets the supernatural. Again, this is K-Star from The Flow. Check back weekly for another episode of the Superhero Supernatural Flow. Have a blessed and prosperous week.